ladies and gentlemen, he is the heartthrob of millions, the darling of the nation. She makes millions of hearts skip a beat. Individually, there are live wires to on screen. So, what is going to happen to see both of them together in a movie? So, let's all make some noise for the lead pair of Mission Majru, the handsome and charming Siddharth Malhotra, and the gorgeous and ravishing Rashmika Manda. Excited to see the trailer? You know, they're so excited, Sid. I have to say, when you walked in, there is a level of enthusiasm that's there in this um, in this hall that nobody was clapping because they're like phone pagar ke sab bedhe ki oh, ek shot na miss ho jaye na Sid ka na Rashmi ka ka na trailer ka. Guys, I promise you, we're not going to play the trailer once. We could be playing it more times than once. But um, Sid, more importantly, you know, um, considering we're on the subject of Mission Majnu. Can I just ask you a very important question? Do you prefer being on mission or do you think that you're more of a mission? I think <laughs> being a Majnu comes from being extremely passionate. And I think you can't accomplish anything in life if not passionate. So I think bilkul. Jazbat hai, passion hai, to majnu. Hu. So you're a majnu for your mission? Yes. <laughs> Majnu for my mission, for my own passion. <laughs> How nice. I mean, everyone would like a Majnu like that, right? Well, speaking uh, speaking about a Majnu like that, now imagine if your character, Nasreen, Rashmika, would wake up one day and realize that the person she is in real life, like imagine if Rashmika would wake up and realize that the person or the partner she's with is actually an undercover agent. How would you react? And since she didn't know, <laughs> <laughs> no, eventually, you know, eventually, you know, Catch him. If that mission is unsuccessful from his part. <laughs> no, I will keep it a secret and support him in his mission. Wow. 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 I mean, I mean, you know... Twist. It's a big twist. Suddenly... Maybe these are hints for the film, guys. You never know. You never know. You're making a mission for your mission. You're making a mission for your mission. You guys are really well cast. You've so easily convinced them that... <laughs> okay. <laughs> she said, okay. Hai na, so I think because of the love, anyone will do anything. So wow. you'd go to any lens for love. Yes. Wow, Rashmika. No wonder. I mean, like, you know, even the nation goes to any lens to love you back. Oh, thank you. And you say, of course. <laughs> All right. Well, speaking of, uh, about love, we know that this Netflix is a platform that we all love, but more importantly, your first time and your first time. I'm going to shoot this question right at both of you. Sid, your thoughts. You're on Netflix for the first time. What are your thoughts? I think it's a great platform for a subject like this. Mission Majnu uh, you know, talks about a real-life incident, uh, obviously, which is fictionalized because of the subject. Uh, it's a covert operation that India did in the 1970s. Uh, we all watch content on Netflix today, and I think this is the first time we are bringing it to, their, to your homes and uh, you know entertaining you right in the comfort of your home so hopefully we'll all uh, get the love right back that we've tried to put across so we're looking forward to 20th of jan guys yes absolutely you should underline that day 20th of jan and rashmika what are your thoughts i'm truly very excited uh, for my netflix debut i think <laughs> i am totally looking forward to it and of course we are in a space where uh, everyone and to you know Netflix and I'm so glad to uh, debut. <laughs> yeah. Hi, yeah. how's your Hi. Okay, wow. Okay. Alice Peter from Bollywood Hangama. Uh, first of all, such an amazing trailer. Congratulations you guys for this one. Can't wait for it. Uh, my question is for Siddharth. Uh, when you play a role like this where enough about it is out there for people to know, but yet there are moments where a lot is hidden. How do you prepare for a role like that? And how easy or difficult was it for you to switch between being a man on a mission and a man who's a much 
Um, so I think we we actually technically don't know much about such covert missions because the purpose of it is to keep it a secret. Um, none of the teams can really come out and claim they've done that or we never get the exact details. But now possibly 50 years later we know uh, connecting the dots and uh, that's what our writers have, have done all the homework to make sure that we get the right balance of being authentic and yet add our flavor of uh, you know, commercial cinema onto it to make it a streamlined story. Uh, so the character that I play or we play are completely fictitious, but the events that happen in it is uh, are real and uh, something that have happened. Um, and we uh, we did a lot of readings and workshop. I remember in my house, be it you know Amar, Garima, uh, Shantanu, we would just sit down and start uh, doing readings of the script and coming up with ideas as to. Uh, what and how we can do the particular scene. Um, even this sewing machine right here, this old school one, I've um, possibly is the same one that I've practiced and rehearsed on for that one scene, uh, trying to get the actual uh, authentic way of uh, making clothes in 1970s. Um, and I think uh, the rest was something that we've all tried. You know, every scene was different. Uh, every scene had a different flavor. So we're really excited for the 20th of Jan now. For people, this is my first time playing a spy, so I'm, I'm extremely excited to see what people think. Uh, did you undergo a training for it, and was it difficult playing this one? Yeah, I went um, to a two week, three week intense training, which was very, very scary to <laughs> say because I remember initially I had to start with just um, blindfolding myself, and I reached to a point where I could make like alu sabzi without looking, lighting the, <laughs> lighting the, um, you know, everything, everything. There was a tennis ball, um, you know, thrown at me and I had to close my eyes and catch it, sense it and catch it and I had to count my steps uh, in and out of the uh, place I was training at and everything. So this went on for almost uh, two, three weeks and I, I think and wow, that was quite uh, <laughs> hard, <laughs> intense. Yeah, so, but I realized that when one of your senses are, you know, um, taken away, all your other senses just like highlighted and I really, um, as in, I realized this and I think while shooting also, I had to figure out a way uh, which was comfortable for me to maintain throughout the whole, um, you know, uh, performing this character and yeah, I have a technique that I'll tell you later, <laughs> not right now, but uh, yeah, it was, it was very interesting as an actor.